Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Daily currency levels for the pound crosses Wednesday, May 27th. No major news on the calendar uh, the rest of today. Uh, not until tomorrow evening, New York Eastern Standard Time, when we get the Australian private capital expenditure. Earlier today, we had the uh, New Zealand Governor Orr speaking and uh, the Bank of Canada Governor Pallas speaking. Looking at uh, yesterday, we had some pairs that really had some big days. Um, Monday, a consolidating day after Memorial Day and a tight round range bound day. Then uh, yesterday, we had some explosive moves. Today, continuing on, we are looking at our pound Aussie first up. We saw the pound Aussie move down further yesterday towards the bottom of that 250 pip box to 8,500 level, taking out stops from earlier um, in the week, sorry, the end of last week, and now uh, possibly approaching that second full expansion from the rectangle at the beginning of the month, and having done a full 100% expansion of the rectangle from up top. There are room for these pairs to move down lower. As we said, there is a big gap back in October that could take this pair down another 250 pips if it was continue to move down. There's not a lot to stop it. When we look at our four hour chart, we can see that the market has moved lower. There are stops further down. And then of course that big space down to the 8200 level, 8250, sorry. And uh, currently that market uh, has been dropping and pulling back. It is weak, it's creeping. And when we look at our 15 minute chart, just zoom in here can see that uh, the market has plenty of stops above and below. The market uh, auctioned down lower this morning after pulling up. We have an anchor point low from yesterday. We're inside of yesterday's range from the U.S. session as well as the low of the day yesterday. The market came up and pushed higher in Asia before dropping down, pushing up into that peak formation. One, two, three, stop on high, dropping down, and then again working back into the peak formation depending on how this market comes out of the year obsession we could get a stop hunt high one more time for a move back down continuing the move from yesterday again that uh, market has moved up uh, three levels of rise 75 pips so we possibly could see uh, this market come back and retest the low of yesterday we've worked the high worked the high on a one two three and again one push two push pullback and hitting it again underneath of that 8550 level so pay attention to the 85.50 level. If uh, the Europe Open comes up one more time, we may have a move back down to retest the lows of the day. Next up is our pound Canadian. Again, this pair, we had the pin hammer last week. And then yesterday, a big day, pin hammer. As it closed out, it worked quite aggressively higher in the London session before exhausting itself just prior to the US session and then reversing. It's consolidated momentarily underneath of this seven triple zero level we've broken that finally we have stops underneath of last week's lows at 69.70 we did say that this market had a full expansion down to around the 69.70 level from that break of the rectangle up top on a one two three pushes to the high uh, it is conceivable that if this market was to continue to move further down it could do a second full expansion possibly down to the 6400 level when we look at our four hour chart, again, uh, we saw the consolidations uh, coming off the peak formation, consolidating, dropping down again and consolidating over the last week. And then yesterday breaking down below the 7,000 level, taking out stops from last week. We do have stops again down around the 68.25 level and 67.50. Again, we're in that lower 250 pip box now, this market that is still demonstrating weakness if we were to have a measured move that this market could no problem continue to uh, expand and approach that second expansion at 68.25. When we look at our 15 minute chart, we'll just uh, back this up a bit. Just give an idea, traders, we're sur we have been in a range bound market the last week. We finally broken below that 7,000 level after a big move down, went into consolidation. When we zoom in, we can see that reversal that came from last night's U.S. session after putting a peak formation in place. The market has since broken yesterday's low after three pushes 
uh, coming off the close. We're currently underneath the low of yesterday. We could see a, a pullback or a stop on high to around that 69 90 level, possibly even retesting uh, up to the 7,000, a stop on 25 pips up to the 7,000 level, taking out the lower level shorts before possibly resuming that downward movement. Uh, currently, this market is creeping down. We have a micro trend line. Uh, it's possible it could break out, pull back, and retest the highs or just stop on high for a move back down. Uh, we're currently in a small little rectangle at the low of the day as we head into the Asian close Europe open we could see this market creep higher and then stop on back up towards the high before resuming its downward move <clears throat> next up is our pound Swiss and again we saw that squeeze inside the, the falling micro trend line and the breakout pullback of the low of last month and then uh, the double inside bar and we had an explosive day yesterday breaking that trend line again hitting stops from last week's high so this market uh, possibly could retest the low still we have a one push two push three pushes and the stop on high if we consolidate we could see this market still fail we would want to see another big move up if this market was con con going to continue its move possibly uh, retesting that 2000 level on the four hour chart we can see if we scrunch this up the market's pulled back inside the low of april and we've got three lower troughs that have formed possibly uh, giving us the beginnings are partially a bit of an ascending triangle but uh, again this market has pinned the high we haven't had a lot of follow through we could see this market still retest the lows of the week we've had a one two three to the high that's typical for a stop on we'd want to see this market resume its upward drive if it had uh, room to still move further forward when we look at our 15 minute chart we can see that big move yesterday out of the rectangle and again uh just an example of a market consolidating, breaking out, pulling back, continuing the move, pulling back, continuing the move for three pushes to the high, taking out the overall structural high from the beginning of May, and then pulling back strongly into the close and going sideways. Uh, this market has since consolidated inside of that 1900 and 1925 level if this market was going to retest or come back up we should see a strong move above that 1925 level if not we may see the market stop hunt up above the high of the day and retest the lows of the day again that europe open will give us an idea if we're going to retest the stops at 19 uh at 1925 sorry and the high of the day and possibly even retest up towards 1944. It drops uh, one, two, three hundred pips down and consolidated. So again, this market could have a bit of energy built up to retest that high. Uh, again, if it wasn't to be able to push past that 1925 level, we could see it reverse, take out the lows of the day and retest some of the yesterday's range. Up next is our pound yen. Uh, looking at our daily chart first, we saw that market have a big day yesterday, taking out stops from late last week, testing that 3250 level right now as we speak. We have highs above the high of last week in that upper 250 pip box and below the low of this week and last week down towards that 130 level. When we look at our four hour chart, we'll just zoom in a bit here. We can see that the market has just pulled back on top of last week's high at that 3250 level if we were to see a resumption of this trend we could retest the highs at 3300 again uh, if this market was to reverse come back through we would have a micro double top formation possibly and possibly come back to retest the breakout gap on our 15 minute chart we can see the market had a huge day yesterday and it's had a creeping trend down. It's dropped 75 pips, three levels of drop, one, two, three into the low. Currently retesting those lower level highs at 32.50. Again, 32.50, a major quarter level on our four hour and daily charts. Again, the market, we would want to see the market trade up above that for a continue pullback and continuation, or perhaps just a stop hunt working 3250 for a retest of the lows of the day back, back towards the breakout of yesterday's trade around the 3175 level.
Next up is our pound New Zealand. And again, uh, stopping, hitting stops yesterday in that 100% full expansion from the upper rectangle. If the market was to continue to move down and hit stops from back in January, uh, we could actually head towards having a second full expansion if we break that lower 97.50 box. Uh, the market is holding underneath 2,000. We're consolidating, but again, this market may have some follow through for a second day extension of that move towards the 97.50 level. Again, on our four hour chart, if we just uh, tighten this up a little bit, we can see the market took out the stops. We've done a full three expansions from that upper rectangle at the end of uh, two weeks ago. We had the one push, two push, three pushes in that upper rectangle. The market has done three full expansions. It's possibly uh, run its course. Again, uh, we could see some consolidation inside of this 98.25 and 2000 level. Again, if we were to break through that level for another expansion, testing 97.50 and possibly even down to 96.75. On our 15 minute chart, it's possible we may have a peak formation in place. That was a very strong move in reversal. That's a 75 pip peak. So again, uh, possible that the market has put a low in place for the week, but again, we've had one push, two push, three pushes into the peak formation today. There's a lot of space here. This market, if it was to take out the lows, stop on low, it's possible we could see this low of yesterday retested. And again, stops sitting down around the 98.25 level. There's not much to stop this market from revisiting yesterday's low, unless it, of course it was to reverse out of this uh, stop hunt low for a spring back towards the high of the day. We've got a lower, three levels of lower highs. This could be a bit of a trap taking traders down towards the peak formation low and trapping them and shifting away. Again, we would want to see this market uh, break through and pull back for a continuation or stop hunt low, consolidate, and then look for the trade back up towards the highs. Uh, again, this market could move very strongly towards the lows, but if we saw any auctioning sideways here at this 98.75 area, we could see a strong spring back towards the highs, taking all these lower level highs out and retesting the highs from the London session. Lastly, our uh, British pound, USD. And looking at our daily chart, we can see that the market had a big day yesterday, uh, spring right off of the 2250 level, taking out stops from earlier in the week. We have stops at the high of uh, a few weeks ago up towards the 2865 level. When we look at our four hour chart, we can see that move was very strong and aggressive up through the 2250 box. Hasn't pulled back a whole lot. We're still inside of that last bull candle. We've had one, two, three, four, five bars inside of the one candle. The market, uh, if it wasn't able to break through that level, we could see this market have another retest at the highs from a few weeks ago up at the 2375 level, and then possibly even going further up towards the upper box, 2450, 2500. On our 15 minute chart, we can see that big move yesterday, huge move up, very strong market. We've had a, uh, a 50 pip pullback from the peak. Again, this market, it is very conceivable for this market to come off the lows and retest these highs and maybe even retest the high of yesterday. Uh, especially as we head into that session, we could see stop on high, breakout pullback, and a very strong move back up to follow a second day trade. If we saw this market stop on high in reverse, taking out the lows of last night's uh, pre-US session lows, we could see that market break through the 2300 level and retest back towards the London swing longs. Quote from Ray Dalio, success comes from knowing what you don't know more than coming from what you do know. Mark Douglas summed things up great and he said, uh, anything is possible when you can approach the market with the mindset that anything is possible, you'll manage your risk, you'll let your winners run, you'll cut your losses. Keep getting better traders. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. We're going to have a great trading session today. And may the markets go with you. Hi, traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. 
If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.